Okay, I'm uh, Bradley Gillis from Williamson Associates, and I'm on board this mission as a navigator, providing uh, surface positioning for the vessel and subsea positioning for the ROV. And mainly my background is uh, seafloor mapping, multi-beam work and side scan work, as well as surface positioning and uh, subsea positioning, which I'm doing on this job here. My main responsibilities uh, for this program is uh, positioning the vessel on the surface of the ocean and positioning the remotely operated vehicle subsea. For instance, this green outline, that's the bow section of the Titanic. So we get a good indication of where we are relative to the vessel and uh, the Titanic itself on the seabed. So it's much easier for us to make the uh, decision on where we should move the vessel and orientate the ROV relative to the subsea structures as they were. And, uh, without getting them caught up in anything and at the end of the day be able to retrieve them all safely. So we have the uh, surface position of our vessel right here, the Jean Charcot, and uh, here is the transponder that's on the umbilical, and here is the ROV itself. So you can see how there's a current in play here. The ROV launch point is right here on the port side of our vessel, yet the current has taken the umbilical up to the northwest and then the ROV is kind of fighting against that current to get back down on site as they're uh, currently doing sonar, sonar uh, mapping of the uh, port side of the bow of the Titanic. Being from uh, Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, getting out a project out in this area on the Titanic is uh, special to me. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to come out here and actually explore the Titanic and especially uh, to the depths that we're doing, uh, the equipment we have with us and what we're seeing on this project is just amazing. So to be a part of it all is uh, truly uh, unbelievable.